Hey coaches, it's Coach Bridget here. Welcome to day two of our new boss boot camp. I'm super excited because if you're here watching this video right now, it means that you have completed vulnerable day one. And anybody that knows about day one and has completed the assignment, it, it, it can get pretty emotional. So it's nice to be on today too. So day two, we're actually going to be talking about two out of the four different what we call vital behaviors as coaches. And the first one of those vital behaviors is being a proof of the product. And being a proof of the product is vital to your success as a coach. If you aren't being a proof of the product, you aren't going to draw in those people that are seeking for help if you aren't doing that. So um, some people when you've started, you've either had success with the product or you signed up searching for success with the products, right? So being a proof of the product consists of the first thing, which is doing your workouts every day. And that may seem simple to some, but once you start in on it, it is a lot more difficult than you think it is, but it is vital to your success. So you need to, right now, it is day two, so you should have already picked a program that you're going to do, and you probably did that when you signed up as a coach, and you're going to pick a program, and you're going to stick with that program start to finish so you can have your very own before and after pictures. As a new coach, it is super crucial to have your own success story. So if you don't already have one, that's what you should be focusing on right now, as well as the other vital behaviors. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure you take your before pictures and your measurements so that you can show your progress as you go. And that's the awesome thing about being a coach is being a proof of the product is you're posting about your workout every single day. So it doesn't matter if you feel sluggish. I want you to post about it. Um, I want you to post about how good you feel when you're done with that workout. Um, as a coach, it's important that we're posting about doing our workouts every single day. Um, I know there's a few of you who are injured and you're waiting to heal back up, and that's okay. You can still be a proof of the product by following the meal plans. And the second part to being a proof of the product is the Shakeology. So as Shakeology has changed my life, I have a reason for that, and I have my own personal Shakeology story on how it's personally helped me and how I've seen the products change my life. So as a coach, you kind of have to gain that for yourself. So if you haven't noticed a difference, um, you will get your story and I want you to find your story. I want you to post about your Shakeology and how your kids can drink it. Um, show how it's helping you mentally, physically, emotionally. Share any of that, any of how Shakeology is helping you or how it's quick and easy. It's different for everybody of the benefits for them of what Shakeology does for each person. And that's going to be different depending on the person. So you need to make sure that you're sharing how Shakeology is helping you. So with picking your program and sharing your sh or sharing your Shakeology story and why you love both and how it's helping you, we also need to work on the other three vital behaviors. So we're going to go to the second vital behavior, which is personal development. So why is personal development so important and why is it vital to your success? And I'm going to put it this way. Being the best version of you and helping others learn and grow starts from personal development. So if you aren't willing to learn and grow yourself, you can't expect your team to grow. You can't expect yourself to grow. You can't expect <coughs> you can't expect to grow your challengers, and you can't expect to have the confidence to invite if you aren't working on yourself first. So first and foremost, take care of yourself by doing personal development. So some tips how to get your personal development in. So before I became a mom, I would read on occasion. I've never really liked reading personally. And I found coaching, I do like to read. But as a busy mom, I just don't have the time to read an actual book. So what I do to fit it in my schedule is there is what you can do is if you're busy like me, you can go to YouTube and you can type in motivational videos or 
personal development books or any personal development book title that you can think of, you can type that in and search it and you can listen to it on YouTube for free. So that's a great place to go. Another great place to go that I always listen to when I'm folding laundry or doing dishes or getting the girls ready for the day is I listen to podcasts. So under the podcast, you can search different people, different areas. So I, my personal favorite for podcasts is Shalene Johnson. She has Build Your Tribe as well as The Shalene Show. And Shalene Show is geared to more towards like everyday life and Build Your Tribe is more business related podcast. So if you haven't listened to hers or checked hers out, go ahead and check hers out. I love, I love, love, love Shalene. So, um, the next podcast that you can listen to is you can search Team Beachbody. And that is super important to listen to because it has all of the national wake up calls from clear back from a year ago in the Team Beachbody podcast. So you can go back through and you can listen to those too. And something that I would also like to add is I live about a half an hour away from town. So whenever I go, into town or I'm driving back or I'm running errands in town, often I will stick podcasts in and I will listen to those instead of listening to music because I am bettering myself and I would rather not waste time. So that's how I get my personal development in. And another thing that you can use if you don't like YouTube or you don't have podcasts and you don't want to download that free app onto your phone, you can also listen to Audible. And what that is, is you have to pay, I believe it's $15 a month, and you can download any audiobooks on there, and you can listen to them whenever you want. So that's always pretty cool, too. I haven't used it, but I hear a lot of coaches really like it. So if that's your jam, then go for it. Um, another thing that you can listen to for personal development is team calls. So team recordings on our page, I post all those in the Team Supermom Facebook page under re or team calls team super mom team call call wow team call recording so all of the youtube links are on there and you can check out my youtube page as well um so those are how you can get your personal development in as a coach so that is very important and vital to your success so there's two of the four vital behaviors and so what i want you to do today is your task is I want you to post below what you're going to read or listen to as far as personal development goes. I want you to tell me what pro or what program you're going to do for the next little while. And I want you to also tell me what flavor of Shakeology you have that you're going to be drinking as well. And if you want to go a step further, you can post your favorite Shakeology recipe below. So that's it for day two. I will see you tomorrow, day three. Thanks, guys.